Number 10, Coconut Crab. This is a creature that looks like something straight out of a nightmare, but it's absolutely real. Now, there are all sorts of crabs all over the world, and each one of them has their own special traits and features that help them survive in various habitats. But there are a few that are truly giant, and the coconut crab is one that is all about pure mass and power. It's evolved so thoroughly towards the focus on size that it's almost absurd how it looks. You aren't dreaming. No, the coconut crab is three feet long from leg to leg. That makes it the largest land-living arthropod in the world today. Of course, there's one species that's even larger, but it lives under the sea. This crab could legitimately come attack you on land. This is a true predator in the classical sense, and other animals have good reason to fear it. Its claws are the first frightening feature, as this crab has the strength of its weight times six. It's been documented that this crab's claw is as powerful as a lion's jaw. That allows it to be the big chief of its tiny ecosystem, unchallenged as a member of the upper level of the food chain. While the coconut crabs do indeed eat coconuts, which is how they got their name, they're not opposed to eating other things. They've been observed eating rats and even birds. Of course, that is a feat in and of itself. These crabs are powerful enough to climb trees, hunt down the birds, and crush them with their claws so that they can feed upon them. They also have been known to eat live pigs. Plus, should the situation be dire enough, they're willing to eat fellow coconut crabs or even parts of themselves. So, while it's fine to go and observe this crab in the wild, give it a wide berth, will you? Number 9. Giant Isopod The giant isopod is a creature that is similar in shape to things like the woodlouse. The difference between them, though, is size. The giant isopod can be on average 18 inches long, if not bigger. The biggest one ever found was about 2.5 feet, which is horrifying to think about. If you don't want to see these isopods outside of your home, you're in luck, for you can only find them on the ocean floor. In fact, they've been documented to live in every single ocean in the world. Only a select set of ocean animals can survive in so many strange and high-pressure environments successfully, and to do so, they adapt in strange and bizarre ways. It's not an aggressive animal by nature at all, but it is something that is abnormal and large, and when tempted, a large enough group of these weird sea dwellers have the numbers and strength to actually attack and eat an entire alligator. That's something you probably would be astonished to see, but not in person, or you might be next. Number eight, Japanese spider crab. Crabs are creatures that are found on beaches and in the waters all over the world, and some of them can get very large, reaching sizes that would make any normal person take a step back in a hurry. However, the Japanese spider crab is by and large the biggest crab on the face of the earth, and the bulk of their legendary size comes from their legs. They're exceptionally long and spindly, and when measured can reach over 12 feet from end to end. One of the reasons that this crab isn't fully known all over the world is that unlike many of its crab brethren, they mostly live in deep waters and don't show up on the shore. Plus, they only live in the waters just off of Japan, which is how the species got its name. In fact, it almost always causes a scene whenever a specimen is caught. One of the most famous captures was in 2009, and the crab was deemed Crabzilla because of its size. They prefer to live in waters between 50 and 600 feet deep, which is an impressive range, but even more impressive might be their longevity. It might surprise you to learn that they can live up to 100 years, so this crab is big, can live a long time, and is found on the deeper side of the ocean. If that isn't unsettling to you, just imagine one of these characters flailing around your living room. I guarantee you'd be more than a little bit disturbed. Number seven, giant sea cockroach. A journey taken by researchers from Singapore to the waters of Indonesia turned up a brand new species that is now known as the Bathynomus raxasa, but you can call it by its more common name, the giant sea cockroach. This massive isopod looked weird. 
So weird, in fact, that it was even named after Darth Vader as a nickname because of its look. The giant Bathonomus is a deep sea crustacean that can grow up to 20 inches in size, making it the second largest isopod species known to science, at present at least. If you're curious as to how such a creature lives, it goes to the bottom of the ocean, where it lives, sits patiently on the floor, and eats the dead remains of whatever deceased animals it encounters. Though if necessary, a giant sea cockroach is able to go for long periods of time without needing food. Now that's curious in its own right, but in truth, a surprising number of animals have that ability. Number six, the super giant. Back in 2012, off the coast of New Zealand, a very special type of crustacean was found. It was truly shocking to researchers because it was a type of amphipod that was supposed to be only about one inch long, and yet it was 10 times that size. Because of that, it was dubbed the supergiant, which is fair when you compare it to the other members of its species. Alan Jameson from the University of Aberdeen's Ocean Lab said, it's a bit like finding a foot-long cockroach. All the investigators were left slack-jawed, staring at this freak of nature. They had to rewrite the textbooks after finding it. The strange animals were found using a large metal trap, which had been equipped with a camera housed in sapphire glass to keep it safe from the high pressures of the deep sea. Seven specimens were caught in the trap, and nine were captured on film. These creatures as a whole are known for being found in the bottom parts of trenches, and they're also known for being very active creatures despite their small size. As such, finding one that was much bigger was a shock to many. Dr. Ashley Rowden from Niwa said, It just goes to show that the more you look, the more you find. For such a large and conspicuous animal, to go unnoticed for so long is just a testament to how little we know about life in New Zealand's most deep and unique habitat. It's true, the waters of the world may be mapped out in terms of their overall shape on the surface, but under the waters there are all sorts of areas that have been barely touched, and this particular crustacean proves it. But it's far from the only one. There are many, many more recent discoveries that have scientists totally bewildered. Number five hairy yeti crab. The yeti is a mythical creature said to live in the mountains of Tibet. However, the yeti crab is a crustacean that happens to live on the ocean floor near heated vents. So why is the latter named after the former? Two reasons. One, its shell is pure white and the yeti is said to be covered in white fur and its arms are covered in a weird type of fur. So thus you get the yeti crab. What truly makes this crab amazing outside of its appearance, though, is that these crabs might actually be farmers. That's right, it's not only humans who can cultivate crops. These crabs farm bacteria, apparently, then use said bacteria to clean the water. That's pretty cool, and it's for that reason that they've started to migrate to Point Nemo, which is the point on Earth farthest from any land, as bacteria have started to thrive there, and the Yeti crab decided to follow. It literally followed its bacteria partner to the ends of the earth, or at least the most remote part of the ocean. This special species of crab was first spotted in Point Nemo in 2005, and have only grown in number since then. In fact, the genus known as Kiwaidae was made after three different kinds of yeti crab were discovered and proven to be quite special. Just goes to show, once again, you don't know what's out there until you find it, right? Number four, American Lobster. Now let's talk about a crustacean that is bizarre and large in a good way, the American Lobster, because this is something that many people have had at least once in their lives. Lobsters are a major market in the seafood industry, and there are many who risk their lives out on the open oceans in order to go and get enough supply for seafood restaurants. And these lobsters can truly be large, as they're known to be over two feet at times and can weigh over 44 pounds. That makes it not only the heaviest crustacean in the world, but also the heaviest of all living arthropod species. So you can see why they're so valued, right? Most lobsters come from the northeastern coast of North America, 
with the Atlantic provinces of Canada and the U.S. state of Maine being the largest producers. They are caught primarily using lobster traps, although lobsters are also harvested as bycatch by bottom trawlers, fishermen using gill nets, and by scuba divers in some areas. One of the truly bizarre things about lobsters is that their upper limit in terms of age is technically unknown. Proof of this can be found in a lobster that was caught and put into a New York restaurant to be served to its patrons. Activists went to try and save this lobster because according to them, this 20 pound lobster was over 120 years old. Whether it was true or not is debatable, but there are many who believe that the lobsters just keep going and growing and aging without much issue, and thus they can be defined as nearly immortal as we don't know the true lifespan of the species. Do you think the lobster has some genetic secret that keeps it from dying of old age? Or is something else going on here? Would you ever keep a lobster pet to see if it outlived you? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to The Biggest for more strange videos just like this one. Number 3. Tasmanian Giant Crab Just in case you thought you could avoid strange monster crabs by heading to a calm island off the coast of mainland Australia, think again. Weighing up to 39 pounds with a shell length of up to 18 inches, the Tasmanian giant crab is the fifth largest crab species. Its wild geometry makes its claws appear more massive than its body. Just look at it, held by humans. That doesn't seem real, and yet, it's absolutely real. That has made it one of the most popular crustaceans in the southern waters of Australia, not just because of its look, but because of the meat it can produce due to its large size. For example, one of these giant crabs is said to have enough meat in it to make 160 crab cakes. That's a lot of catering from one single animal, although if it had a fair fight against the fishermen who captured it, it might be a different story, and the crabs would be the ones having a picnic on foolish humans. Regardless, this is a truly special crab, and one you have to see to believe. Number two, whale lice. Imagine having a little insect that lived on your skin, eating away at your dead cells. Now imagine that little bug was actually a whole inch long. That's whale lice, which are the largest arthropod that lives on mammals. In this case, as the name suggests, they go and cling to creatures like whales, but they'll also go onto porpoises as well. Disgusting, I know. But wait, there's a twist. Because while it sounds unpleasant, the little creatures only feed upon dead skin and algae, causing no harm to their hosts. They are even responsible for the most distinctive feature of the Eubalena genus of whales. The unique white patches on these animals are formed by tens of thousands of pale lice clinging to the whale. So while they may not be large, they can be large in number to the extent that you'll notice them even if you don't recognize that it's them. Number one. Tasmanian Giant Freshwater Crayfish The Tasmanian Giant Freshwater Crayfish is the largest freshwater invertebrate and the largest freshwater crayfish species in the world. But while that makes it large, what makes it bizarre is that it can only be found in one place in the entire world. That would be in northern Tasmania, and only at depths of about 1300 feet below sea level. Talk about having a picky way to live, right? But it's true. These crayfish really do only live there for some reason. And, due to various factors, they're an endangered species and it's actually illegal to go out and hunt them. Just as bizarre are their eating habits, which quite literally change over time. For example, they'll eat wood that is decaying and they'll eat leaves, but also eat fish and bugs and rotting animal flesh. How very... appetizing. Thanks for watching! Have you ever seen one of these crustaceans in person? Which ones are you more than happy not to see in person? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on The Biggest.